Um, good morning. As he said, my name is Mark Croker. I'm with Snorkel International, and today I'll, I'll be uh, giving you a little briefing on our new T66JRT machine. It is part of a family of machines that include also an A62JRT and a T46JRT. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll start at the platform and give you some brief information. <clears throat> Some of the things that we um, tried to do in designing all three of these machines together was to try to maintain as much commonality as possible. And some of the areas that you'll end up seeing that commonality are the chassis, the chassis design, the, the electrical controls, the platform. We tried to use commonality wherever we could. Wherever we could. The, uh, um, the planetary gears in the, uh, in, in the hubs for the wheel drive, the four-wheel drive. <clears throat> So I'll go ahead and start with the platform. This is an eight-foot um, steel frame platform. It's steel for strength and durability. Um, and we went ahead and used aluminum for the flooring to reduce weight as much as possible. <clears throat> in, in looking at the controls, the controls are proportional drive, proportional boom lift, and, um, and boom down, as well as boom turret. <clears throat> and that is, that is going to be common through all, all three of our machines. Um, while we're up here, I'll go ahead and mention a few of the safety features. Like many, like many machines, obviously, you have an emergency stop button, um, um, your horn, your, your tilt sensor, and then obviously a foot switch that must be enabled before the machine can be operated. Another com component in common with all of our machines is our six-foot jib. <clears throat> um, working our way back, this is a three-section boom on the T66JRT machine. It is all steel, and in this particular design, um, we decided to go with what is a keel design on the bottom, um, and what that does is it allows us a slightly stronger profile so that the boom can be more rigid and a little bit lighter. In addition, it's a four-piece boom, um, which allows you to use thinner plate material on the sides where you don't need quite as much strength. Part of uh, something that Snorkel pioneered is an interactive link, and that is a link that actually assists in the boom extension. You get approximately five feet of boom extension from something called an interactive link, which is in the back of the machine. And basically, as the boom goes up, um, the cylinder is pushed further up inside of the boom to give you that additional extension. And what that does is it helps to reduce um, your total outreach when you're down low, but as you go up, it increases, which means you can get by with a little less weight, making the machine lighter. In the engine area, we use a, it's a Kubota T2403 uh, turbo engine, 59 horsepower. And as you can see, we have a swing out engine tray, which gives you full access to both sides of the machine for your common maintenance items your starter, your alternator, whatever you need to get from that side is completely accessible. Um, and this particular tray and this particular engine, as well as the hydrostatic drive, um, are common between this machine and our A62, which you'll see later on today. Um, a few comments about the hydrostatic drive system. That's a, that's a 28 cc hydro, hydrostatic drive system that operates at 6,000 psi, um, which is one of the factors that gives us excellent uh, rough terrain drivability as well as gradeability. We're in the 45 percent range for gradeability. Um, um, function pump is a 19 cc function pump, and that's what allows us to get all of our boom functions operating quickly and smoothly. Um, as we move around to this, the front of the machine, um, we have an oscillating axle that has nine, nine inches total oscillation. Um, um, the axle is controlled by a valve that works constantly while, while ever the foot pedal is engaged to make sure to try to keep all four tires on the ground whenever possible. Um, tail swing, we're at, we're at 47 inches tail swing on our T66JRT machine. Um, which is basically right in the ballpark for most competition. One other thing that I, I want to mention while we're, while we're looking over here is the turn radius. For any two-wheel steer turn radius of any two-wheel steer machine in this class, 
um, we are first in class. Inside turning radius is four feet six inches. Outside turning radius is 15 feet five inches. <clears throat> um, fuel tank capacity on this machine is roughly 40 gallons for the fuel tank. The hydraulic tank um, is roughly 37 gallons. Um, just to summarize, um, key features on this machine, really where we stand out, I think, is very strong drivability and gradeability in rough terrain. The inside and outside turning radiuses are awesome. And as well, as I mentioned before, we try to use commonality wherever possible between this machine and our other machines. So as a customer, um, when, you, you, when you know how to work on one, it really helps in knowing how to work on the others, as well as in keeping parts in stock for those machines. Um, um, it's the T66JRT. Are there any questions? Yes. Yes, safety of devices, interlocks. Um, um, there is an interlock that restrains or, or reduces drive speed when the boom is elevated beyond a certain position or extended past a certain position. Does that answer your question? Are, Are there, there any other questions out here? No? Thank you very much for the presentation on the Snorkel T66JRT.